Hi, I'm Deborah Lippman. What are the seven best ways to keep your nail polish on longer? Well, first and foremost, you need to have a clean and dry nail plate. Uh, you need to make sure that you've removed all of the oil uh, from any of the treatments you've done before you polished, or if you've washed your hands, you need to dry them from side to side all the way. Just make sure that they're super, super dry. Next, uh, you need to use a base coat and top coat. Ugh, I know. You don't like to use a base coat because you like to get out the door faster. So um, if you don't use a base coat, you will get out the door faster, but you will also have your nails not wear as long and you'll be back in the chair faster. So always use a base coat and a top coat at the end of polishing. Put the top coat on top. It is gonna give you your gloss. It is meant to seal the polish in and putting those four layers of a, a base coat, two coats of color and a top coat are going to make your nail polish last longer. It's like really good to have that strength of the four coats of nail polish. Uh, next, I would say use less polish on your brush. So sometimes we pull out the brush and we've got too much polish on it and it puddles and it streaks and then we try to fix it. In theory, it's you want to put one stroke down the center, one stroke down each side and then cap the tip. We get into trouble if we see that we haven't done something perfect on the first on the first coat. Don't worry about it. Just let it be. And when you get to the next coat, anything that you have missed, if you've missed a sidewall, if you have a little, you know, bubble somewhere, you can clear it up with the next coat. So, take your time with it. Let that polish dry for 2 minutes in between each coat, it's really important. That's the next step. Very important to let the polish dry. So there are solvents in nail polish that need to evaporate off the nail before you put the next coat on. And how you do that is you either um, put a timer on for two minutes. When you get really good at it, you'll see that when you apply the polish, it looks super wet. It has a wet look, but after a minute or two, depending on how much polish you put on, what your brush is like, and all of those things that are different every time, but you can see that that wet, wet look goes away. It's still shiny, but it's not quite wet looking. And that tells you that those solvents have gone away and it's safe to put the next uh, layer on. I just say wait two minutes in between and then I'm pretty sure that you're safe. Um, next up would be something that's really a, a game changer and that's, I'm sure you've heard this before, but capping the tip. Capping the tip is going to give you days longer. So you take your brush and you just are going to barely run it around the very, very edge of the nail. The idea isn't for the polish to get underneath the nail. It is just to be on the very, very tip. You don't want it to flood on top of the nail either, but this gives you um, so much more wear. And the next thing is, like our mamas have told us, and we never want to do, wear gloves. Wear gloves when you are doing housework, when you are um, doing anything in the sink, in the kitchen sink and scrubbing, and you wear those gloves because you will really, it just makes a difference. I know we don't like it, but we gotta do it. And last but not least, don't use your nails as a tool. Subscribe, like, click on the link below for a free PDF on how to do a perfect at-home manicure.